Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a cool knife to show you. This is from Bade Modern Design, and this is the Titan. This little guy is at White Mountain Knives, and you can pick this up with my code LEFTY10. So, um, as far as I understand, they're not allowing discounts on this knife, but they were cool enough to uh, allow the Lefty 10 code to work. So if you want this knife and you want to get 10% off, I suggest you use the code Lefty 10. I believe it's $229. I just want to confirm here really quick. Uh, it is the Bade Titan. And there's three versions. There's a bronze, a blue, and a purple inlay one. And it is $229. And again, you'll be able to use the code LEFTY10. That'll save you 23 bones. All right. We have a really cool Belt Satin Dual Grind Tanto. Look at this thing. Isn't that wild? Such a cool looking blade. Um, this feels flat to me. And this one as well. Um, but they feel nice and thin. It's a taller blade, so it comes down to a good edge. I believe the OEM is Kubi. That's who they used on their stunner model that was really, really good. I will say the um, the stunner is, I think, the knife that convinced Colin and I to use Kubi, uh, to try Kubi out and see what they could do in terms of OEM. So that's very, very cool. Um, this knife has a flipper tab. Very, very well done and thumb studs which is cool we are dead nut centered on this blade we have blue titanium accents pivot collars there and backspacer and then it looks like we have t6s down here which i would have went with t8s but um let's see how the tooling is on these t6s because that does make a difference let's see oh yeah that's I mean, that's excellent. Let's see. Has not fallen out. So, oh, tooling is excellent. I guess there's also some magnetic force, but it's in there. I mean, it's good. Can spin it. Yeah. No issue at all. So that's good. Uh, you have a lanyard post right here, which is pretty cool. You do have these relief cuts. Um, but the way the clip is angled, when it goes in the pocket, it lines up right here. So... How do I explain this? Uh, it doesn't have a ton of ramp, but if you just angle it right, the problem I had is the stud kind of sticks out a little bit. So I would kind of run in, into interference with the stud as the clip is going in, right? You're trying to line it up, but the stud is catching. And then you do feel these at the end as well. So I don't know if I can show you on like a cloth or something like that, but so you go to slide it in, you get caught on the stud or whatever. Um, so you got to angle it right. You get over that and then it tightens up here a little bit and you hit that. Um, not terrible, but not the best design. Uh, this would have been better internal or just a cutout, not the three lines. Um, and then the studs, I don't know how you fix that. You'd have to shorten the clip or I don't know, do something. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, lock bar feels good. It's not too strong, not too weak. Um, the action's good. I mean, you can see it wants to fall. It's just um, it's just a flipper, so it'll hit you if you get past that flipper. Yeah, it'll fall. But that is a little bit awkward to come all the way down here to have it pass, but you can do it if you so please. It's a very unique design. Now, the coolest thing to me about this knife are the ergonomics. They are absolutely incredible. I was shocked when I first held this knife because I looked at it and I was like, oh, that, that ain't going to be comfortable. But you choke up and man, this thing just locks 
in. I mean, it is ridiculous. Both these fingers and then these just lock back here and you are locked in. It just, it's extremely comfortable to hold. You don't get a lot of blade, right? It's a very short knife. Um, you know, we're talking five inches, under six inches overall. The blade length is two and a quarter. You know, you're looking at just under two inches in terms of cutting edge. So it's a little choder, right? It's a little chode knife, but it's a comfortable chode knife. Tell you that much. It's, it's nice. Uh, you got chamfers here. You got a little bevel here along the sides, which is nice. It's one thing I've always liked about Bade Modern Design. Um, their designs are always nicely rounded, right? You see that? Um, and that makes it comfortable in the hand, right? You can hold it back like this if you wanted to. Um, and then you could choke up like this. It works. It has a crown spine. You have a crown spine with some sort of aesthetic looking jimping. Uh, thumb studs work well. Detent is tuned perfectly. Uh, lefty even with the reverse weight. Get up on the pivot. Um, it's kind of natural there. The pivot collar kind of covers the lock bar so you protect yourself and you can fire. Um, you can obviously thumb flick it left handed and then you have the flipper tab. And then right handed. I mean, that flipper tab is just money, dude. It's perfect. Just comfortable. Detent is money. Nailed across the board. Um, thumb flick. And reverse flick. So everything works each way. We have no rock. We have no um, play at all. I don't know if we need to spine whack it, but we can do that. Yep, no issue there. Look at the lockup. Lockup's kind of under here a little bit, but get a decent look at it. Looks good to me, 20%, 15%, something like that. Standard 5 millimeter 1 16th bearings if you're going to swap these. 5 mil 1 16th 11 ball from Skiff. Yeah, listen to that. Clicks in nice. Yeah, it's just a unique little knife. I mean, just something different. You know what I mean? So, uh, thank you to Bade Modern Design and White Mountain Knives for sending this over for me to check out. Um, I don't know if you noticed, it has this cut out here so that you can get in there for the flipper tab. It's like a little landing track. So when you come down, you pop right into that little track so you're not stabbing into a, a tight spot which is a really nice, really nice touch. So closing action again, it's very smooth, very smooth. It's gonna break in really, really well, I think. Um, so yeah, I think it's another really good offering from Bade. Um, not necessarily my sort of aesthetic choice. I'm not a big chode-like knife fan. Um, this is another one of those uh, that Knife Nerdery would call a, a nugget knife. Um, so if you're into the nugget knives, check out the Bade Titan. So I'll link it down below, code LEFTY10, and uh, you can pick one of these guys up. I love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.